Hello and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. In this video, we're going to show you how to map the Omron variables to a field and, sorry, to a table and the field names inside the database. At this point in time, we assume you have already set up the connection to the actual database, giving its IP address and your username. And we assume that you've already written the code that actually tells the NJ to connect and disconnect to the database using that data. So, what we're using here is a create mapping instruction. And with that instruction, we're going to specify number one, the table we want to talk to, which would be the same as this table. You notice that we don't need the DBO dot. The next thing is we're going to insert we're going to map a variable of a user defined type to all the different field names in the database. So, the data type of this variable is this one. You'll notice that we have timestamp, barcode, and quantity, same as here, but it has to be character for character the same. Now, if you use manual W527, it will tell you what base type in the NJ matches what variable type in the database. And there's a different uh, table for each of the different databases, SQL, Oracle, MySQL. They all use different variable names. Now, within the type, you can have less than the number of fields that are in the table, but you cannot have a field that does not exist. Sometimes this works because you'll insert, and you might only use, let's say, the first two fields, and then you'll do an update to, to fill in another field at a later time. So you would just create different types, specifying exactly what field you wanted the right to. Okay, an update uh, instructions, which you can tell by the SQL type variable here. You can use a variable that is not an array. It can just have your user-defined data types. The select instruction is different. It can be an array because you can get more than one answer. The next thing you need to know is you're only allowed to execute the create mapping 60 times. And a create mapping like the other uh, network type instructions can take longer than one scan to execute. And you're only allowed to execute 32 network type instructions on any given scan. So one of the ways I, one of the methods I use to keep myself out of trouble is I execute the create mappings one at a time in sequence. And how I do that is I just literally turn on a bit when it's done. And I use that to turn this rung off and drive the next rung. And I would do that 10, 20, 30 times, however many mappings I have. And that's it. Hope that helps.